Have you guys seen any of the, uh, I think they're called Knives Out movies? Yeah. Yeah. This guy, the director, Ryan Johnson. Mm-hmm. Great movies. Is fucking genius. Yeah. Like, they're, it's this, like, the whodunit mysteries, yeah, but, like, great. they're fucking so much fun. Yeah, you they're like so You like the fun. second one? Or the Glass Onion? I like the first I, one oh, better. I saw Glass Onion. I like the first I, one better. I, the first I, one's the best. I Well, there's only two. What's the name of them? The first one? The first one is called Knives, Knives Out. Out. Second oh. one is Knives Out, Glass Onion. Yeah, Glass Onion. Oh. They're yeah, both I awesome. I saw Glass Onion first. I thought that was awesome. But it's this movie where you're trying to figure out so, either who did it or, you know. Yeah. And there's this detective character. Ooh. Who's awesome. Yeah, Benoit Blanc. Yeah. Who's played by Bond. Yeah, yeah. Daniel Craig Bond. Yeah. Also, smart decision. Like, you're Bond. Everybody only knows you as Bond. You have to go play another character. Yeah. To prove that you're an actor. Yeah. Because sometimes you can play something so iconic that we only see you yeah. as that character for the rest of your career. Yeah. So he goes and plays a guy with like a New Orleans Cajun, like a Cajun draw. Yeah. 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 And, and he, he kills fucking it. Dude. Murders yeah. it. Kills it. But anyway, the point, the reason I brought that up, there was a family dispute over money. That was one of the things. But uh I really am impressed by these people that can write these these mysteries where like they're constantly tricking the audience. Yeah. So they're like manipulating you into thinking this thing is going to happen and then they trick you four, five, six times and bake in all these Easter eggs throughout. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's... Yeah, and then you rewatch it again you're like, oh, you should have seen that. Movie. Oh, yeah, they set that up. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. It's kind of like a joke. Like, it it's like, is. Like you're teasing things to call back to and you're Where's like, this oh, going? you Where's this going? Yeah. I've rewatched both Knives Out because it's like, oh, it's almost more fun the second time because you're like, oh, I missed that, I missed that, I yeah. missed that. It's also great, like, girlfriend wife watching because yeah. you get to lean over and be like, I think that, you know what I mean? It like, yeah, becomes yeah, like a little yeah, fun. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of like a kid's TV show. Yeah. Where, like, yeah, the person yeah. comes on, they're like, have you seen my backpack? Where's the backpack? And you're like, yeah. Oh, that's the yeah. <laughs> yeah, way to be reductive about it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was, every now and again, I watch it. Like, if you watch a bad one, I've watched one, I forget what it, it might have been Murder Mystery, I can't remember. Okay. And it's just a little bit like something happens, then like they kind of like look towards the camera like, mm. okay, so. The thing's going to happen. The thing, yeah, that, the right. thing that I like about this guy is that um, he's, uh, he's quite like aware. There's like cultural things that he like taps into. Like there was like a little incel kid and like a super liberal girl and like the characters, he has like jokes poking fun at them. Yeah. Like he has a guy in the night in the glass onion thing that's kind of like Alex Jones-esque. Yeah. Is like one of the characters. So like he's he's teasing and making yeah. fun of these people. And uh I'm just so impressed that he writes it and directs it. Yeah. Yeah. That's I like didn't a, know he wrote that's it a and fucking hard it. thing to sit really down there impressive. like yeah. really impressive. That's why I like the game. Remember that movie? Yeah, with Michael Douglas. Yeah, like just the twist. Like you yeah. like, oh, I figured it out now. Yeah. I haven't seen that one. I need to see it. It's fire. But Glass Onion, the second one, the plot is, I like the first one better, but the second one, the Glass Onion, I thought was more of a unique plot where yeah. it's like, oh, the way he's doing this is just really well done. Yeah. Like the characters, like you said, the the scenario through which he gets them there is like all very, like the the cube and all that. Like yeah. Really well done. Really great. that HBO miniseries? It was like that Indian kid and- like he got in trouble, he got locked up. Oh, oh, uh, it was called the night. Night. After night. It was a night. I don't know. But is it like the that? Night after where it was like just it? twist and turns, where you think it was this, and then the next episode is like, oh no, nah, it must be this guy or that type of shit. That's more like rooted in reality. You've seen oh, Clue. Okay. This is more. Yeah, this is more. It's. Uh, a, it is real. It's Murder on the Orient Express. Clue. Like it's. Yeah, it's, it's also, it's a little silly. Yeah, there's a there's a silliness to oh, it. There's okay, a okay, tongue okay. and cheekness to it. Like second they, one more silly, but yeah, first one a little silly as well. All, gotcha. the, yeah. all the characters are like uh, have to be really like flamboyant, exaggerated, exaggerated versions, so that like, you understand their motivation immediately. Like mm-hmm. the woman who like loves her diamonds is going to be like so diamond out that gotcha. you're like, oh, she wants the money to buy yeah. diamonds. Like oh, you yeah. have to know their motivation. So like the game of Clue, where it just yes, like, literally like, that is yeah. what all this is built off. Was yeah. Clue the movie based on the game? Or was it the other way around? Mm-hmm. Had to be the other way around, right? I don't know. I, th- I assume the game is old as hell. Yeah, because the, the movie was. If the movie's based, based on, on the, the game, game, they knocked it out of the park. 